Okay, so this is the Rubik's Cube tutorial, and this is the second step. We left off with finishing the bottom cross, the white cross, um, in which these white edge pieces were matched with their respective uh, centers, as far as the, uh, the white orange is matched with the orange, and also the white, blue with the blue, white with the white, the white red edge piece is matched with the red and white, and also the green and white. So the next step that we have to do um, is going to be to complete uh, the bottom color by placing the four white corner pieces. And by corner piece I mean uh, a piece that has three different colors on it and it, it has to have white on it because we want to put the white ones down here. And once we're done this whole bottom should be the uh, it will be a white color. So what you have to do first um, is you want to look on the top layer. You want to look on the side here just as we did um, for the white edge pieces in the first step. You want to look on the top for pieces that um, have a white color on the side. Uh, as you can see there are none here but you do see two on top that have white but it's on the top it's facing towards the ceiling which is not the way we want it so we're gonna have to correct this and in order to do that you're gonna have to memorize a move which is um, it's able to be done on the right side and also the left side so it's just basically a reflection of itself and the move is right clockwise top 180 right back down and by doing that move you now see that you have two white corner pieces which have a white side a white color on the side and this is exactly how we want it to look we want this white corner piece to be on the top and we also want it so that there is a white the white color is on the side so it, we do not want it like this. This is this white color is on top. It's on the top, the up face of the cube. We want it to be on a side face, either the front, back, left, or right. So these two are okay. And then what you do is you could start with either one. We'll start with this one. You look at the other color that is on the ad adjacent side to the white. In this case, it's blue. You don't look at the top color, which is red. And what you do, you match this blue side with its color diagonally. And by doing that, you're able to put that piece down. And what I mean by matching it diagonally, I mean you have to turn the top layer, this top layer, until that blue side, the blue color, is matched diagonally as, as like uh, it is here. Then, once you do that, you hold this blue side and you do the following move. You do right clockwise, top clockwise, right counterclockwise. And what that does is it places this, this corner piece between the three, cor the three colors that it has to be matched to, which are white, red, and blue. Let me do that move one more time. I also like to call it, so if it's on the right side, you can say up, towards you, and back down. So let's do the other piece now. So we also have a blue, um, a blue corner um, that is a white corner piece that has blue on it and also orange. So we're, also, we're only looking at the blue color now. Uh, because that's on the side with the white. It's on the adjacent side. And what you do is you match that up diagonally with its center. So just turn the top until that blue is matched diagonally with its center. So now it's matched diagonally. And what you're going to do now is you're going to do the reverse of the move that we did on the right side. So it's left side counterclockwise top counterclockwise, left side clockwise. And you can see that this blue, uh, orange, white corner is matched in between the white, blue, and the orange centers. 
Let me do that move one more time. So here's that corner piece. It's matched up with the blue. You go up, bring it towards you so that these whites meet up, and then bring it back down. Now we have two corner pieces which are in the correct position. Now there are two more that we need to place. One is down here, and the other one is up here. Okay. Now that move that I said before, you're going to have to perform that. And you could do it one of two ways. You could do it so that you start with this corner piece and you bring it this way. Or you could do it so that you start with this corner piece and bring it this way. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start. I like to have it on the right side. <clears throat> so you do the move. You go right clockwise, top 180, and right back down. And as you see, what that does is it makes this one, now it has a white color on the side. So now you do the same thing as before. You look at the other color on the side with the white. In this case, it's green. You match it up with its center. Hold that center, and you go up with that piece, bring it towards you, and bring it back down. Also, it's also, like I said before, right side clockwise, top side clockwise, right side counterclockwise. And there is one corner left that we need to fix. And when you're doing the last corner, you have to look on the bottom because there is an open spot here. What you need to do is you need to put it so that this corner piece with the white on it is directly below that spot. And if you don't, what, what will happen is when you do that move to try to fix this, it will mess up this corner that you had already placed. It will mess that up. So you want to directly put this piece directly uh, above this empty spot, like so. Now it's directly above that empty spot. And you could perform that other the move again, which, which fixes these uh, corner pieces that have the white on top. It's up, 180, and back down. Then what you do, now that this is fixed, you look at the other color again on the side, which is red. You match it with its center diagonally. Hold the center. You go up. Bring the white towards you so that you match it with the other whites. And then you bring the whole side again back down. Now you have the whole entire bottom completed. And as you'll see, if you turn the cube upside down, you have these color tees. This one's green. This one's red. This one's blue. Don't pay attention to these edge pieces. And this one's orange. And that completes the second step of solving the puzzle.